for some reason, I find myself back again in a doctor's chair, but never, you know, never to worry because when Dr. Mark Larson is around, I feel a little bit more comfortable. I'm just saying. Well, good afternoon. It's yes, good seeing man. you again, Brian. Good seeing you. Okay, as we get into the summer months and everyone starts to spend a little bit more time outside, obviously we're not covering anything that's new, but taking care of your skin and being able to find potential problems is very crucial. I would agree with that completely. Uh, one of the things that you and I just discussed is the skin health. Uh, one, y'all, the folks out there that are listening to Brian and watching him, you know, y'all be careful and about uh, getting sunburn to your skin. That's causing skin cancers. It's actually causing premature aging. Those are the things we really want to talk about and stress for you all today. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we can't say it enough as far as using protection as far as sunscreen, hats, limiting the number of hours you're outside, but also putting moisturizer on your skin. Let's talk a little about that. Well, I think moisturizers are something that, you know, once you get you know past your 20s, your, your skin is getting drier, your, your oil in your skin is not as oily. Uh, you know, it's not producing as much oil. And as you get drier skin, it gets flakier. And I actually think you get some aging with that as well. Yeah, not, not, not the good George Clooney aging. That guy gets no. better looking at time, but, but aging that, you know, you got the crow's feet around the eyes. How important is sunglasses of, of not straining the, the muscles around your eyes? Does that have anything to do with it? I've always thought it did, but maybe I'm wrong. You know, uh, I'm not an ophthalmologist, but I'll tell you, if, when I don't wear sunglasses outside, it gives me a headache. So yeah. you got to think that that, that that would have some benefit to your, your eyes. Uh, the, the one thing I really want to stress today, though, however, is, is the chronic sunburning, chronic sun exposure. It does irritate your skin, uh, it, whether it's UVA or UVB, for all those people that know all those fancy letters out there. It is going to cause, at some point, irritation in your skin where you'll get either scaly things called actinic keratosis, which may even come to be something like a squamous cell skin cancer, a basal cell skin cancer even melanomas, and there's things that we can do to recognize those. Okay, let's talk about signs. Uh, if you look in the mirror and you have a, um, let's just say a mole or some type of skin, uh, something popping out that does not look like it's normal, uh, what do you need to look for? So, well, uh, one of the things, for instance, if it's a mole that's getting bigger, if it's getting larger, it's getting wider, not so much taller, but just wider, uh, it's growing for a reason. Now, whether it's just a plain old mole or whether it's a, uh, you know, an early skin cancer that's growing, that's usually uh, one sign. The basal cell skin cancers almost look kind of funny. They have a flat center in the middle, and they're kind of heaped up around the edges. It's kind of what we call a pearly border with kind of a flat center. That's a sign for a basal cell skin cancer. And, you know, from what you told me as well, if you have a cut or sore that's just not healing, uh, that could be it, it as well. Yes, sir. The a sore that's not healing or a sore that, that you know, it'll scab up and heal and then come back and become a sore again, that may be an early skin cancer called a squamous skin, skin, skin cancer. Those are skin cancers a little bit more aggressive, and they need to be treated a little earlier. Okay. Well, give Dr. Uh, Mark Larson here a call. Uh, for any questions like that, and, of course, you know, you've got other services here as well. I'm a big fan of some of these other services. I'm going to keep it on the download about that. But, uh, you know, look. Tummy tuck, facelifts, all that good stuff. Liposuction, we can make you look good for the summer and uh, check your skin out, make sure you're healthy. I've got a pony keg down here. I don't know if you can make me a six pack or not. We'll make you a 12 pack. 12 pack? <laughs> uh, I got a 12 pack coming up after the break, I wish. Uh, stay with us. Do call Dr. Larson and his friendly staff here if, if any questions that you have. But there's more uh, Southeast Texas Live coming up. I'll have a 12 pack after the break. Well, maybe, maybe six.